Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy We're carrying on our launch of the new Mizuno MP20 range. Really excited for this video because it's a brand new iron for Mizuno in a hollow construction and it's the MP20 HMB iron. So full set of hollow headed irons. We've got some technology under the bonnet in this particular club so we're going to talk a lot about that. Have a little look at how they sort of look and feel and obviously the performance through GC Quad with some numbers as always. Okay, so HMB in the MP20 range. First looks, it looks like a blade, but we know looking a little bit deeper is a hollow body construction. So this is a very new iron for Mizuno in terms of being that hollow construction. As I mentioned, we've got a lot of technology happening here. I've got a five iron, a seven iron, and a nine iron. I'm gonna hit all three and see how these irons sort of perform. So I'm gonna start off with the nine iron first. And initially putting that down by the golf ball, it's again, it's a fantastic shape. We're seeing this really nice shaping of the MP20 and Mizuno irons in general are very nicely shaped, aren't they? So very much um, a look of the muscle back iron, so the pure blade, but just in a slightly bigger appearance, slightly bigger uh, uh, profile of the head just behind the golf ball, but it's keeping the very much the muscle back shaping and very little offset on there. So we're hopefully gonna get a blend, and I'm looking into some loss, we'll talk about loss in a bit, um, of, of how these can blend very much into the muscle back. So Mizuno are very much putting a story out there with the new MP20 range that they're very blendable. So whether it's the muscle back, um, the MMC iron or the HMB, these can all be uh, blended in. So you could actually have th all three irons in one set in a way. Sometimes a little bit too much, I think, in my personal view, but I think blending, whether you're going from the HMB to the pure muscle back, um, I think they're very blendable. So very interesting concept that Mizuno is sort of looking at, and I think they're probably seeing a lot more blended sets being sold through their, you know, fitting orders in a way. So 9-iron, let's get some hit. I'm really excited to hit this. Very ex excited to see how this sort of feels and performs. That's a nice opening shot and that feels wonderful. So, right over that top of that fag and stop pretty quick there. So hollow construction, we've seen other brands do it and sometimes what you see is a bit of a trade off there. As you see, you start to see some offset in there. You start to see sometimes a bit of a thicker top line on there. And sometimes then acoustic uh, sounds with it being hollow, unless there's some substance filled in it, which I believe in the Mizuno, um, I've not read anything that there is anything in here. So whether that is hollow, I'm absolutely hollow without filled anything, I'm pretty sure it is. But that sounded like there is something in there. So acoustic wise, straight away on that first shot, sounded very much like you're hitting that muscle back iron. So again, if you're gonna blend, you, do, you won't want them two very different pitch noises from as you strike in that golf ball. Again, had a bad strike there. Just found that left side, just gone a little bit longer there. Obviously we know that little pull will always just travel that little bit further. But the strike was very nice. It's a tough one there today for me because I've got a real strong left to right wind. Yeah, you might hear the sort of noise, possibly the microphone, and you might see the camera waver a little bit. That's it's a pretty strong wind. So I'm seeing the ball fly with the, obviously on the wind here, but obviously we, where GC Quad works, it's closed data, it's measuring it in this area, so it won't the wind won't affect the flight that you'll see on the simulator. So that actually flew pretty straight to me, but it actually drawn off a little bit to the left. Okay, so really liking the look of this, very confident, inspiring sort of head size behind the golf ball without being sort of too ugly with the offset, the bigger thick line. It's a bit of a chamfered top head, so it does look thinner than what it actually is. Beautiful shaping on that toe section. Yeah, nice strike again. I like the sound of that. It does sound very good off that club face. Definitely not. I think if you blind tested somebody and, and you gave them the muscle back and then that one, you know, I, I think it'll be hard for them to sort of know. Definitely through the sound, it doesn't sound hollow or echoey that some hollow construction irons feel like, I, I would say. So this nine iron's coming in at 41 degrees of loft. So it's a little bit stronger, but it's exactly the same as the MMC model. So 
We've got the, the muscle back as the pure blade. We've then got a sort of the MMC, the multi-material tungsten titanium in there, but very nice little look. And then we've now got this HMB model sitting in there. So the lofts are exactly the same as the MMC irons, uh, which are just then a couple of degrees stronger than the muscle back. So again, it, it, it goes into that favor of being able to sort of blend these irons without having massive gapping issues. feels lovely feels really nice it's a better more accurate shot right over that flag and stop it very quickly there as you'd expect with a 99 so let's move into the 79 and see how that one feels right so 79 in our hands it's lofting in at 32 degrees which I quite like Again, sometimes you go in that hollow construction, bit more of that forgiveness, starts to be a little bit more of that powerful iron. We see lofts get, lofts get sort of cranked down into that sort of 30 area, sometimes 29 area. So I, lo I love the fact that Mizuno are keeping them in that as, as probably as best they can into that more higher end bracket of lofts in, in that 32 without really whizzing them sort of straight down. And obviously, as I said, they're the same as the MMC. So blending wise, absolutely sort of perfect. Again, confidence inspiring behind that golf ball, a little bit more of a face to look at. You can notice that a little bit thicker top edge, but the shaping very similar to that uh, MB iron, which is lovely. Let's get this first one hit. Oh, that feels really nice. Really easy to sort of hit. Just fractionally left. So I've moved myself back out here, looking at where that nine iron's gone distance wise. Got myself out about 173 from the flag which looks to be about right for this type of loft, 32 degrees. Lovely. That wind's moving out there as I visually look at that, but that's flying very straight on the sim. Again, looks to be stopping quite nice with a bit of control, which is good. So technology that's happening in the head, obviously we've got that hollow construction. What they've added in now from the JPX hot metal range, which is one of their Mizuno's best selling irons, is the Cremoli. So you may have sort of remember that sort of word from, um, from that sort of area. So they brought that um, into the HMB iron. So they've got the Cremoli through the neck and across into the face, which is now forged. So it's a grain flow forge that Mizuno are very renowned for through that neck across that club face. That's then supported with a stainless steel bottle Body. so it's not all of it isn't forged but the face the hitting area is so it gives you that feel that sound a little bit that you'd expect or what we do see from that um, MBI in and obviously the MMC iron but now just um, obviously got that stainless steel back section of the body a little bit more of a generous sole as you'd expect but obviously that's something that you're not going to see at a dress position and like I say they've just chamfered that top edge a little bit more tapered there again trying to make it appear a little bit thinner than maybe what it actually is so it's all trying to make it visually a little bit more easy to blend through with those other models of irons oh, that just feels so easy to pick off there that just goes it just off it goes <laughs> Another way to describe that, just pull that fraction there. So again, that always goes a little bit longer. So availability in the HMB iron, these are available from a two iron. Yes, they do a two iron this, and I'd love to get my hands on this. So Mizuno, if you're watching, if you'd love to send me a two iron, I'd be more than happy to have a little blast with that and give you a review on it. But available from two iron all the way through to pitch and wedge uh, in right hand. Left hand, it's only available in the three and four iron. And the reason for that is because they do a separate left-handed blended set, the S. ELs, I think they're called, which I'll do a separate video on that for you lefties out there. Um, so they are available in that uh, three and four iron in the left hand, but the rest of it is all right hand only. Yeah, and that was a little bit on that toe side, but still felt really nice and still pretty much got that distance there. So uh, definitely I think it's a good option for a golf who looking for that nice tour inspired look. And I tell you what, they look fantastic from behind. They look like, wow, that's, the, that's a real traditional bay. That's a really good player's iron. But then obviously when we talk a little bit about what's involved in the club and the hollowness and the slightly bigger profile and the way it sort of hits, it's very much a forgiving golf club. So I think this is a really good option for Mizuno. Okay, let's quickly move into that five iron, hit some shots of that, and then we'll check some numbers out in a little bit more detail. Right, so five iron in our hands now, and I think this is probably an area of, of the, the iron set where I think these really do come into their own. And I probably predict 
that there'll be a lot more of these long irons um, sold in HMB as sort of long iron replacements, as, as like Mizuno are calling this a little bit of a hybrid iron in a way. And then obviously as players go into those short irons, they might move into that MMC, possibly even the MB iron. So I think the, the long irons will be very much a more popular option as players would strive to have that little bit more help on launching that golf ball in the air. And the technology in the head is a little bit around this. So also what's happening in the head is we've got twin 12 gram tungsten weights in there, which is sort of split, again, helping with stability and those slight miss hits. And they, they feature in the two iron all the way through to the seven iron. So again, in that longer iron section of the, of the set, helping on launch, helping that stability and ultimately that bit of forgiveness uh, across that club face. And then as you move into that, um, short irons it changes to a 10 25 mile steel uh, carbon there which is carbon steel should say which is a bit softer so a bit more of a responsive feel as you'd want in those short irons when you're playing a little bit more um, of a, a delicate shot or more of a control shot approach to the green okay so five iron 25 degrees of loft as i say it's the same as the mmc so blending would be very nice with these as i said before beautiful look again very similar shape a little bit more confident spire in there. And that just pinged away absolutely beautifully. Again, very good feel off that club face. We've got that cremole and it's that grain flow forging through that neck and the club face where you're striking that golf ball. So we're getting that forged feel that we expect. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a really nice high towering flight. I'm about 200 yards away from the green on this particular shot. And that is a, quite a nice sort of high towering flight. That was a little bit off the toe side, so I didn't absolutely flush that. So it has just dropped a little bit on that uh, carry distance, but the flight in the air, you think as a coming into sort of land there, you think I've got a bit of stopping power. We'll look at some spin numbers, a little bit more detail. Um, in a bit once we've hit a few more shots. Again, really nice how tower in flight. A little bit out to the right that time, trying to just stop that left one a little bit. Hitting the green though, nice slip. Okay, let's get one more shot hit. And I'll be interested to look at some numbers here. Oh, that's a lovely one to finish on. Really, I love the fly to that with a five iron. Definitely know I've got some stopping power with that as it comes into land. Okay, really nice. I think it's a really good move from Mizuno here, but let's look at some numbers a little bit more detail and see how those irons stack up. Okay guys, so let's look at some numbers. Now I just forgot to put uh, actually a nine iron in that top one, but that's a nine iron where it just says iron. Then we've got seven iron and then we've got five iron. Obviously the average is running at the bottom there. So look at the nine iron first. Uh, 111 ball speed, launching at 20, spinning at 8,000 and carrying at 149 as a carry distance there. So um, as we know, a little bit stronger on the loss, but only a fraction, so 41 degree. We're not going to see huge, huge spin numbers, but at the same time, that's probably what I expected to sit with that number. So it's bang on for me, 8,000 with a 9.9 at that 30, uh, sorry, 41 degree loft. Moving into the 7.9, 121 ball, as you'd expect, more ball speed straight face. Launched a little bit lower, 17.7, and spinning at 5,500, um, and carrying distance of 174. So maybe a little bit lower on that spin number with that 7.9 we're seeing on that particular shot. Again, we know strike, we've always got to compare this in there, but strike will come off a little bit or change that spin number accordingly. So you look at that first one there, that's quite a low one, wasn't it? I think that's the one where I caught a bit off the toe, to be honest, so that's always going to pull spin off. And you can see the ball speed was a little bit slower of the lot. Uh, moving into the 5 iron, 131 ball launching, just under 14 degrees, spinning 4, 6, 21. So a little bit of a higher spinning number with that longer iron. Uh, maybe as that tungsten goes into that long iron as well. But I think, to be honest, I did strike that a little bit better. Had more of that right shot there, which you can see just spun it up near that 5,000. So that's just upping it. So again, my shot shape and my strike will always go and influence these spin numbers more than, more than anything. And the carrying distance averaging at 196. Okay, so well done, Mizuno. I think they're on to something here. You know, yes, we've seen hollow construction irons from other brands uh, much earlier. This is the first time Mizuno have done it, but I tell you what, 
well worth waiting for. They are a beautiful looking set of golf clubs. The finish of them, the shaping of them. I think that less offset's really appealing to the golfer who would like to really aspire to use that muscle back, but probably realistically know themselves they're not good enough to use it where this just ticks the boxes. We've got that forged face, we've got that bit of feel, we've got that help in there with the tungsten, beautiful shape and beautiful look, fantastic flight and the numbers are pretty good there, aren't they? So um, as always, it's important to go and get fitted, loads of different shaft options from Mizuno, grip options, um, and obviously blending options as well, which is with a big story around the Mizuno and the MP20 range. These are all very blendable from that muscle back, MMC to the HMB, you can really blend the lot. So um, really pleased they're not mega strong on the lofts they kept them in more traditional which will help that blending and ties into what they're sort of saying with that sort of story post comments down below let me know your thoughts on the new mp20 range obviously i've done my reviews now if you've missed my muscle back review and the mmc review links will be there you can go and check that out under the playlist uh, comparison video will be coming very soon if not it'll be on my channel now where i'm going to compare all three models in one session and look at some numbers and flights and see maybe how they are really blendable so um very excited good range we've got full custom fit kit down here at Lytham golf academy so if you can get to us then obviously just um, email me and we can obviously organize a, a fitting for yourselves for that thanks so much for watching appreciate watching the videos as always if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button very much appreciate ring the bell get notifications at any future videos as soon as I land on the channel you will be one of the very first ones to watch it hook up on social media platforms both instagram and twitter and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon